Let me draw you a little picture of the government of this colony. You're going to find it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe. Number one, Darcy Bolton Sr., retired pensioner at a pension of 500 pounds a year paid by the people of Upper Canada. Number two, Henry Bolton, son to number one. Henry's the attorney general for Upper Canada as well as being a bank solicitor. Number three, Darcy Bolton Jr., also a son to number one. He's the auditor general for Upper Canada as well as being master of chancery and a police justice. Four and five, William and George Bolton, also sons to number one, also holding various positions in the government. Number six, John Beverly Robinson. Now, Robinson's a brother in law to the Boltons there. He's the Chief Justice for Upper Canada as well as being a member of the Legislative Council and the Speaker of the Legislative Council. Number seven, Peter Robinson, brother to six. He's a member of the Legislative Council. He's a member of the Executive Council. He's the Commissioner for Crown Lands. He's the Surveyor General of Woods as well as being the Commissioner for the Clergy Reserves. Number eight, William Robinson, brother to six and seven. He's the Postmaster of Newmarket, member of Assembly for Simcoe, government contractor, Colonel in the Militia and Justice of the Peace. You begin to get the picture. So I'm going to skip over nine through 22. They all hold positions in the government and they're all bound together by bonds of blood, marriage, or greed. In most cases, it's all three. That brings us to 23, 24, and 25, the Jarvis family. Samuel Peter Jarvis, Grant Jarvis' son, and William M. Jarvis' brother. They hold such varied positions as Clerk of the Crown and Chancery, Secretary of the Province, Bank Director, Clerk of the Legislative Council, Police Justice, Judge, Commissioner of Customs, and two High Sheriffs. 26, John Strawn. Now, he's the political schoolmaster and tutor to this mob. He's the Archdeacon and Rector of York. He's a member of the Executive Council, member of the Legislative Council, President of the University, President of the Board of Education, and 20 other situations. Oh, I just about forgot, 27. Thomas Mercer Jones, Strawn's son-in-law. Now, he's the agent and director for the Canada Company Land Monopoly here in Upper Canada. Now, this family connection includes the whole of the judges of the Supreme Civil and Criminal Tribunals, the agents and directors for the Canada Company Land Monopoly, the President, Solicitor, and Board of Directors of the Bank of Upper Canada, half the Executive Council, and all of the Legislative Council. Hard to believe. But what's even harder to believe is how this family compact villainy stays in power in Upper Canada.